A Purdue toxicologist says there are high levels of blue-green algae present in several areas, lakes, and rivers, and that could be harmful to your health. News Channel 18's Elizabeth Renscher has more on how you can keep you and your four-legged friends safe. Two weeks ago, the young family from Wabash was enjoying a Sunday afternoon with their four dogs at the Salamone Reservoir. What was supposed to be a fun-filled day turned into a day they will never forget as two of their four dogs died after coming in contact with a toxic blue-green algae. Purdue veterinary toxicologist Stephen Hooser says this blue-green algae is present in our area as well. Blue-green algae is always around in ponds and reservoirs almost throughout the state. But every once in a while, when the conditions are just right, like is in the drought that we have right now, the algae will have a huge explosion of growth. And sometimes it produces a poison when that happens. Hooser says the poison can affect either the nervous system or liver and says both can be potentially deadly. The poisons that affects the nervous system, it's severe salivation, vomiting, tremors, seizures. I mean, it's terrible. And death can occur. With uh, the liver poison, it affects the liver and so you'd have vomiting and diarrhea, you'd have severe abdominal pain and jaundice associated with that. Hooser says the effects of the nerve poison can happen in minutes and can also cause death within minutes. He says liver damage can occur in just 24 hours. Hooser says the water must be ingested in order for the effects to occur and says that's why animals who drink the lake or pond water are more at risk. Carroll County Emergency Management Director Dave McDowell says he's already seen evidence of the blue-green algae in the past few days and warns everyone to be cautious. Every body of water that I've seen this summer in my area has the blue green algae in it. Right now we're standing in front of the Deer Creek here in Delphi. Uh, I've seen it in the Tippecanoe River and I'm sure it's in Lake Freeman and Lake Schaefer too. Don't let this risk ruin your summer or anything like that, but be aware of it. Elizabeth Rentschler, News Channel 18. Stephen Hooser says the algae will remain in our lakes and ponds until a heavy rainstorm dilutes it.